to give you a tour of the final stage of flooring because it's done. Welcome back to another episode of RV Redo. This is Alice, our motorhome. We got Alice back in 2017. This is the RV. This is the official JD Joyride TV mobile home. We got an RV for the channel. everything and taking out the furniture we've already taken this chair out that thing was a pain in the butt it kicked our butt we still got to take out the driver's seat this couch is completely unbolted we just got to get it out of the rv and this couch we are in the process so when we put the new flooring in it's just basically going to go all the way from here we'll call it the master bedroom that's where the magic happens. It's only happened three times. We're going to leave the carpet in the bedroom just because this is a diesel pusher. It's a rear engine and I think it will help muffle engine sound. I know it's a car channel. We want engine sound, but in a motorhome, it's nice to have it quiet. I really wanted to get all my cabinets painted before the flooring went in, but we'll just have to throw down some drop cloth and just go with a it. A buddy of mine just did all of his flooring. He hired a carpenter to do it. He sent me pictures and videos of it. It looked so good. I'm hiring the same guy to do mine because I bought the flooring about a year ago and I was planning on doing it over the winter and I've mentioned it before and I just never got around to it. So I was just like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and pay this guy to do it because things have just been really, really busy and probably gonna be my best option. Let's do some demo. Yep. <laughs> The passenger door is 26 inches wide. The driver's side door is 33 inches wide. So we're gonna take everything out the driver door. I'm really bad at picking up the camera while I'm busy, but uh, we got a lot done. Look at all this. The seats, couches, everything's out. Driver's seat, passenger seat. We just gotta get a custom bucket and bolt it to the uh, bracket. Good to go. I still haven't figured out what to put in that. Because that used to be an old tube TV in there. But now we got that. Look at this. Got basically all of the carpet. What do you think, hon? I'm excited not to have carpet. Right? You think it's going to look good? You want to come in here and tell them uh, plans? What's the goal? To make it not look old and dirty. Like It was never dirty. But it looked kind of it did not look dirty. It felt dirty. It was cozy. We'll we were thin. change the curtains too. Yeah, we will. Everything up. This is the flooring that we're going with. It's really, really thin. We wanted, we wanted something super thin. If you see here, it'll fit under the slide. Say that. We've got about 11 boxes, hopefully. That does the trick. We pretty much turn that light on. There we go. This is where it's gonna stop the bedroom. We're pretty much just leaving the uh, carpet. Cause actually the carpet in the bedroom still looks like brand new. We got a lot of work. Flooring guy should be here tomorrow. <laughs> Here's all the RV furniture. And we're putting the dinette booth back. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a tour of the final stage of flooring. Look at that. Well, so we've had this floor for over a year now and JD finally broke down because he realized that we're never going to do it because he's so busy with other stuff and I'm so busy with the kids and everything. So he finally broke down and hired somebody because his friend Joe got his floor done and it looked so good. So JD was like, oh, just kind of fell into your lap. Like that works out. Perfect. Right before Mustang week. Yeah. Which is nice because all the sand and stuff will be all up in the carpet. You can just sweep them off it. So that would be nice. But the guy did a really good job because he did like all of the little trim pieces and like quarter rounds and coughed it all. And I even said if I had to do this myself, 
that it would not be. It would not have been, yeah. I would have never and been our able to. floor vents look like they match. And, and those were old. Yeah, those were the original floor vents. And he did this little thing so we all have that gap. Do you want to show the toilet first, though? Oh, yeah, let's show him the shitter. It looks nice how he did it. It doesn't look now I have to paint the toilet. And this RV isn't like most. This one actually has a porcelain toilet. Most RVs have like plastic toilets. Yeah, I like the porcelain. So, which is kind of nice, but the little cover on the bottom of the toilet, we're going to have to paint that because it has a little yellowness. That's why I like porcelain because it doesn't turn yellow. Did he went under the uh, washer and dryer too? Let's do the yeah. hardwood in the bedroom. So we actually ended it right here. Yeah. Show that. Close that door. Yeah, our new furniture is back there. We don't want to reveal that yet. Show him the pedal because you. When you were gonna do it, you were thinking about leaving that carpet because you were like, how am I gonna do this? Yeah, he was gonna stop the carpet like right here because he didn't know like about, I don't remember if you were worried about removing the seats or not, but under these pedals. So he did it like under the pedal and everything. Yeah, he did a really good job. Like the way he cut all that in, he's good. JD really wanted to keep this stuff, but I talked him out of it. Take all this off and paint all this paint all the cabinets. Let's light a piece of wood up. Oh yeah, we'll take this off and put wood there instead to match the cabinet. We'll place all this gold stuff. We got new furniture. That's gonna come. We gotta show them the new furniture too. Oh yeah, we'll show them the new furniture. So these are our paint colors. We yep. chose this one because it kind of matches like the leather. We we're gonna do the upper cabinets like this and the lower ones. See, color. these things have these like carpet ceilings. And white would just make it look yellow. What is it, like a tannish? It's like an ivory color. But we talked about replacing the ceiling, but look at all the stuff we'd have to go around. Because we were going to do like boards, like shiplap type, but it would take probably six years to do that. It only took a year to do the floor. And I still didn't do it. <laughs> And you still have to swap out all these blinds, so we're going to paint that. Yeah, we did a video on that, and but we only got two left to do, this one and that one. We also put like this wood underneath it there, so that looks really nice too. And even, he like did all the way underneath it there, like where you don't even see it. Yeah, it looks really good. Let's reveal the furniture, babe. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Are you going to model on it? Not only is it a chair, but it can also be a bed. Look at you. So this is basically just our Mustang Week temporary furniture yeah. until we get our real furniture, right? Yeah, because we did not. I was going to put the old stuff back in. You were like, no. Well, I don't want loose couches sliding around and smashing us. But just sliding around on these are okay? Like if you like slam the brakes and like something comes flying at you, Whoa. it won't hurt. Like a piece of furniture. You got a point there. Is there a Mustang Week temporary <laughs> furniture? It's gonna work, it'll be fine. We still have our dinette booth. That's all bolted down, strapped in, everything. And we also have seat belts, but they're tucked in behind the cushions. So the kids will be over here buckled up. We're not riding in these bean bags yeah. going down the road. So this is the progress on our RV remodel so far. And there is a playlist on the channel that you can look at all of the different videos on the different things we've done to remodel the RV. And stay tuned for our next step in the progress next year. You'll see the <laughs> next job. year. Subscribe so that in two years you can see the next step. That's it. Bye. <laughs>